Good morning. We are packing up. We have about 300 miles to go. Well, a little over 300 miles to go before we get into New Orleans. We are in Texas, and I'm going to tell you where we are. But I feel that we had to make this video because, believe it or not, we are staying at a Motel 6, which we stay at a lot. But this going to be a review of this Motel 6. has to be the best Hotel 6 we ever stayed in right on the freeway here in Texas. And just looking at it, it's no different than most Motel 6 that we've seen looking at it. But the landscape appears to be pretty new. <laughs> we never seen a Motel 6 with a barbecue location so you can barbecue. The back fence all the way around the property is new. And this surprised us when we got here because we never came into a Motel 6 and had a parking lot, a parking lot, this pristine. So riding our motorcycles here was a, a, a no-brainer coming in this parking lot. Now, we wasn't searching for it because there's La Quintas, there's nice hotels all over the place. We just had a long day, got in town extremely late, wanted to stay and meet some people in Houston. We didn't get a chance to because we were pulling in late. We don't bother people late at night. And so we just passed Houston. I'll tell you the town we in. But what you really, really need to see is the rooms. Now, we're staying in room 101. From what we understand, all the rooms are exactly the same. And this blew us away. We stayed in some nice hotels, some nice to okay motels, and some okay Motel 6. First of all, checking in, one of the first times I went in with Cake to check in, I normally don't go in. I normally ride around the hotels, no matter where we stand, to look at the parking lot, look at any escape rooms, see who's watching us check in, things like that. Just what I do, safety stuff. I mean, look at down, look down here. Yeah, there's some little stuff on the ground, but no savory butts, no, I mean, just pristine Motel 6. We stayed in one Motel 6 before, I don't remember where it was, that was pretty good, but not like this. Hold up. Have to clean the lens. This one is super clean. So I'm going there, this is room 101. Okay, we're going inside. Cake, know we're doing this review, so. Ta-da! Welcome to our four walls home for the night. For last night. For, for last night, yeah. Because we slept good. We didn't get a chance to do the review. And like all Motel 6, there's some typical things in there. And we have stayed in luxury motels, or I would say hotels, some great motels. But this got to be the best Motel 6 ever. This is why I'm bringing this to you. But there are some typical things like... The air condition, ta-da! The typical curtains, but they're not just regular curtains. Like they're the blackout curtains, they darken curtains, because Rich loves to get his beauty sleep. It has a desk and a chair for our helmets. Over there. We have, right here, the typical side tables, but the water, Bottles are not included in it. Not as a 360. But what's not typical in this Motel 6 is this. Look at this. It's a chair, but not just a regular chair. It's a reclining chair. It's a recliner. A recliner in a Motel 6? Now, you probably say, okay, we've seen recliners in hotel before. But a Motel 6? Motel 6. Come on now. Come on now, y'all know this is a good place so far. I mean, so we sure you typical, good. but you haven't seen nothing yet. In a Motel 6. Right. Well, if you've seen it before in a Motel 6, let us know because we haven't, and we stayed in some Motel 6s and Motel 6 style hotels. Trust us. Exactly. And the typical, it's a king size bed. We got the king room, king suite for my king, you know. <laughs> we have. A dinette set with a boot and a chair, a mirror, I guess, so we could watch ourselves eat. <laughs> but 
Y'all know damn near a foot right by the bed. Well, it's not pointing by the bed, though. Exactly. Oh, look at me like that. We have, what you doing? A closet. Oh, Rich hung his jacket up in the closet. Well, the only thing I didn't like about the closet, maybe somebody stole, we only had one hanger. <laughs> but oh. normally, you don't have a closet with a door. At the Motel Fix. And one of those, what you call those racks? Luggage racks, I guess. Rack. So you won't have to put your luggage on the floor. Speaking of floor, yes. check it out. This is one of the cleanest Motel 6 we've ever stayed in. And that's one of the reasons we're doing a review. Because everybody likes to do review when it comes to bad things. Bad things. Have you seen our review when we was in Arkansas? Oh, I put it up there because oh, we didn't actually do the whole room. I was just so no. upset. It was horrible. Anyway. But this review is a different kind of review. Now, so, what you're about to see now, here. what you're about to see now is something we've never seen in Motel 6. We've seen it in... A little bit of upscale motels, and then obviously residence some. Residence in. Yeah, residence in. A couple of other ones. And, and hotels. Yes. But watch this when we turn it around. Look what we this. have? A full size. Full size refrigerator. Anybody want to donate some food today? I know. <laughs> but anyway, this is full size. Refrigerator. Now, we were staying here several days. It's come in handy. We only stayed, we only stayed one night last night. We're packing to do what I need more. And check this out. The best part of this room is it has a kitchenette in here. Look at this, y'all. Two burner, hot plate, or whatever you want to call it. Cabinetry. It cabinet. And a vent. Your cabinets. Oh, that's so cute. It's a microwave, y'all. It's not an easy bake oven. It's kind of small. But... It's a microwave. Don't play with them people. And cabinet. Stainless steel. The only thing they don't provide for you are pots and pans. So you have to bring that yourself. But look at this. Lots of room. So if you're gonna stay in a motel for more than a week, I suggest you bring your cooking utensils and everything you need so you can have your meal here. Well, if you're gonna stay in this Motel 6. Motel 6, this Motel 6. Now, obviously, the well, bathroom is- Bathroom is a regular bathroom. Like any typical bathroom, it, um, stay long in the bathroom. But they, <clears throat> gonna stay long in the bathroom. But we kind of, we, we was impressed with this and the, People at the front counter was extremely, extremely nice. Oh, yeah. He was really nice. And, you know. Nice. Oh, I, we didn't fill up this. We have drawers. Oh, oh yes. We <laughs> had a Motel 6. Dang it. Look at that. Motel 6. And if you want to bring your DVD, people still really have DVD players? I don't know. You can make it to your TV. And, wait, wait, wait. Not only TV. One of the top brands. LG. LG. Well, everybody make their lower scale and their top scale, but the top brand LG, and it's a huge TV. Not one of them things we had to use microscope and binoculars to look at. <laughs> and we watched the game last night, obviously. Yes. But uh, outside of that, I mean, this is one of the things that kind of shocked us, I would say. Yeah, when we walked in. Well, the sign had Motel 6 kitchenette. Even. But this is not what we were expecting. Right. Because we've been in some kitchenettes and... Only thing they have is a microwave. Yeah, with a little burner that didn't work, so... But... Well, I said it already when I was Even the parking lot. The parking... Yeah. It could have been just um, recently renovated. We don't know that. But if it has, good job, construction worker. Whoever you were that yeah. did this, and the, the remodeling... And even a paint job. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a nice paint job. And we, we could see it's not brand new. Like Cake said, it could have been recently it's done. Recently remodeled. Oh, nice. not, you know what? We, we, we outside of Houston. We didn't tell people what town is. <laughs> oh, this is Channel View, Texas. Who would have thought? There are other hotels around here, but this is the only Motel 6 that looked like this. A Motel 6? Yeah, there's a lot of big, yeah. nice hotels in this area. Mary but we got it. We got 
here real late coming through Houston. For those of you in Houston that we want to stop and hang out with, we don't want to wake you up at night. Yeah. So we just passed Houston, and here we have, what, 300-plus miles to go before we head to New Orleans. Yes, New Orleans is our next stop. So we're going to wrap this up. I know it's not a motorcycle, but we want to bring this to you because, yes, we don't only do camping. We do stay in hotels and motels. Yes. And there really was no camping in this area anyway. <laughs> you have to go far, far away. And, and, uh, just having a good time on our Rome the USA tour right now. Rome the USA. We, we still Rome in the USA. Oh, 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 oh. Like I said, what I normally don't, I normally don't go check in with cake. But when I went inside, even in inside where you check in, pristine, super clean. Yes. Very, very nice. Look, one last time you saw a vending ice machine this clean. What, baby? It has stairs. And an oh yeah, elevator. stairs <laughs> and an elevator in the Motel Six, they doing it right. Yeah. And when I was outside packing a bag, guy was out there early in the morning cleaning up. So they doing a so wonderful doing job. Great job. I mean, maybe they was in a, the hotel motel industry prior to getting this. I don't know. I don't know, but they're doing a great job yes. with it. Great. So anyway, we're gonna wrap this up. Yeah. But we about to get on the road. So if y'all ride it, remember, ride long, ride hard. Ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. For most J riders, I'm Rich. I'm King. And we are at the Motel 6 in what? Channel View, Texas. And we out. Peace.